All right, so as I don't have a stabilizer, so you know this will be a very, very um, shaky unboxing. But as you can see here, um, today we're unboxing the MX Mechanical Mini. So this is one of the latest um, Logitech mechanical keyboard that supposedly uses a similar switch to the you know famous uh, G series mechanical keyboard, the low profile one. So um, I'll be very excited to check this out because it, this comes at 149.99 USD uh, for the mini version, which, you know, without going to too much, um, has no RGB lighting, which for me is something, you know, a plus for me. And um, looking at this, I got the Tactile Quiet Edition. So basically it's, I would say it's probably similar to a brown switch. And this uses the Logitech Boat um, connect, uh, adapter. So this is actually very interesting because compared to the MX Mini, which does not have a Logitech Boat uh, that came with the box, this one does have one, So which is good. So let's look at it now. So opening the box, uh, you can see that um, it's sort of telling you the, um, the advantages of, of having the easy switch um, by using the Bluetooth and the Bolt, uh, Logitech Bolt. So pulling this out, as you can see, that not, this is the keyboard. It's, it's a pretty, oh, ooh, ooh. It's, a, it's a pretty hefty keyboard, you know, to be honest. And all right, so there is a the Logitech Bolt itself. So I'm gonna place it aside for now. All right, and let's see what else. This feels like a cable, so we'll check this out. As you can see, all right, let's see. All right, here we go. All right, so there is a bunch of pamphlets and then there's a USB A to USB Type C charging cable, All right? So I'm going to place this aside. All of this goes aside. Let's see if they include any other thing that included in a box. Hmm. Yep, that's probably it. All right. I mean, yes, it does say that there's only if these included. All right, so. Coming back to the thing that we're most excited about, the keyboard itself. All right, while this is called the Mechanical Mini, it does share the same design aesthetic as to the MX Mini, but as you, uh, you can clearly see that by placing it side by side, I'm, this is clearly larger. Um, and overall, from a keyboard layout perspective, you can see that there is one more um, r column here. So it does seem very similar in terms of uh, IOs and stuff. So, okay, so the charging, the USB Type C uh, is here with the, um, with the switch here. As for the keyboard, as for the Mini, you can see that it's similarly, the placement is similar, but that you can see that uh, with the MX Mini, it's a lot slimmer on the side, while the MX Mechanical Mini is a lot, a lot thicker on the side. So it does have um, adjustable, adjustable feet. So it's only one level adjustment, and then you can get a bit of a slope going. So turning this on, you can see that it it shows that only number one is connected and then yes and this turns on nicely now so all right so as a test I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the keycap out so you can see that the the RG or not RGB the LED per key was uh, the LED is located on top half of the keyboard so looking at the keycap here, you can see that um, both legends are, are see-throughs basically. Okay, let's see. So both legends are see-throughs. 
So it means that only the top part of the keys will be illuminated. Um, the, the bottom part might not work out as well, but this is one of those limitations that, that comes with the per key architecture. So you can see that only the top part is illuminated. But if you go, um, if we set, let's, let me see, all right, so if we set, all right, let's, let's see if we connect, let's see if connecting to the computer will make it. Hmm, all right, so after um, it gets connected, you can see that the hoax keyboard lights up, which I think is a good UX because when you look at it this way, um, you will know that your your um, keyboard is ready to go. So looking at the backlight now, um, you wouldn't be able to see it because it's it's daytime here. So you can see that it's illuminate. All of them are illuminated, but you can see that all of the legends are placed on the top on the top half of the, uh, of the key, which is different from what you see on the MX Mini, because as said before, um, the LEDs are placed on the on top part of the mechanical switch. That places a limitation on where um, the lights can still shine through. So having um, the legends on top will will sort of solve that problem. It's a limitation that you know, all mechanical keyboard has to work with. But with a standard rubber dome keyboard, um, that's something that can be solved with light guides, which you know, as can be evident here, everything is nicely and uniformly illuminated. But when you look at uh, longer legends like like this you'll see that some part of it is not as well illuminated i mean a lot of reviewers will will sort of attribute this to like a negative um or at least a con for um for the product but that's something i as an engine as an engineer knows that this is a limitation um that sort of has to be taken into account when you're reviewing something all right so sort of feeling um, the key. Let me just turn it off just so that my computer doesn't get... Um, so as you can see, this key, I would assume to be extremely similar to the G913 um, and the 915 uh, series, depending on region. So it probably uses the same switch, you know, so the only difference is that it does not, It's this is more geared towards work, but it offers the same kind of switch style. So when you look at it, it does feel that the key um, is tactile um, without you know too much click, too much of a clickiness uh, to it because you know that that is what it is, right? Um, you can see that the sound we're making is not as loud as uh, the clicky ones. I don't well, which I don't have, but um, I'm assuming that's that's something that would that would be a clear difference between those two uh, particular switches. So when you when you press it, you can you can definitely feel that most of the keys are nice, or I guess you know the click feelings are nicely uniform, so that um, you probably wouldn't feel much of a difference uh, when typing, or at least the expectation would be would be consistent or. But one of the things I noticed is the space key. So when you're actually feeling the keys, um, one of those things with regardless of which architecture you're using is that um, the center of the key will most likely um, be actuated, be actuated mo most uniform and stable and, and in a stable manner. But if you go to the sides, now this is where uh, things get a little harder because you want like in order to ensure that when you press on the sides, it maintains a certain feeling and was able to actuate um, the, the actuator or the switches in the middle, um, there are gonna be some compromises when you're designing this thing. So pressing this, it does feel like while you can um, sort of actuate it uh, even on the sides, but um, the feelings are noticeably mushier. And I think the nature of this particular, oh yeah, that's, as you can see, the the space key is a little slanted um, in a in a sort of parabola uh, form. 
so you can see that on the left side or at least on the left side it's a lot more um, bouncy while on the right side it's a lot more mushy so this by itself is just something I, I do notice and um, but as one of those things that that you will probably notice if you buy um, buy one of these keyboards is that on the sides it tends to be a little more mushy and whether it's left side or right side it really depends on uh, that that particular batch so looking at this what I do like about this is it has its own um, it has its own um, how do you say this how it, it, like basically this key is is you know with a lot of 60% or 65% keyboards um, this key is combined with the ESC the escape key so I think this is something that's really nice so it's got its own dedicated page up and page down that's nice because you don't probably don't see it on the MX mini which I when I was trying to uh, make macros on my uh, mouse which tends to be a big issue because I cannot find the page up key all right so that's it that's it for um, for the short uh, well it's already 10 minutes so for, for a short unboxing um, we'll see you next time